You see, here I have subtracted what? R minus 1 from N. Now, if I subtract a larger number, you see we are subtracting larger and larger numbers. Here we have not subtracted anything, N minus 0. Here we are subtracting 1, here 2, here R minus 1. Next, we will subtract naturally R, N minus R. Then we will subtract n minus r plus 1 like this and as we are going on subtracting larger and larger number, numbers, these differences are getting smaller and smaller. When we reach n minus 1 in place of this subtracting number, we get 1. So eventually we will reach this 3 times 2 times 1. But this is not correct because this is not NPR. NPR is only this much. I have written something extra as what? As a product. So that means I have to divide by that thing which I have written as extra. N minus R, N minus R plus 1. Now it's okay because this and this they cancel out and I am left with this which is NPR. Okay. Now what is the numerator? The numerator is actually the product of all the natural numbers starting from 1 all the way to n. You see in writing NPR we stopped here but now we have the missing numbers. So everything is from 1 through n is available in this product, which is what? Which is n factorial by the definition of factorial. In the denominator also, we have a factorial, n minus r factorial. Right? Because here starting from 1, we have come to n minus r and we have written all the uh, numbers that appear, all the integers that appear in between, we have taken their product, which is by definition of factorial n minus r factorial. So, this is a sort of a small formula for NPR in terms of factorial. But keep in mind, although this formula is very convenient, once you try to calculate the actual value, you have to expand it. So it's beneficial to not forget what NPR really is. Okay, NPR is also equal to this, but that's not how NPR came. It came from this product. This product has to be remembered. Okay, and uh, one more thing to keep in mind is that there are R factors in this product. Right? So now we have a formula. But once we get formulas like this, uh, people have a tendency to memorize them without understanding anything. And that has no advantage other than writing some very bad exams, um, which will give you high score. But nevertheless, in the end, you will gain nothing no understanding, uh, you will not be able to apply the formula where it is needed and if the formula has to be tweaked in some way, if it has to be changed in some way, you will not understand anything. You will not be in a position to do that because simply because you lack understanding. If you know this and you know how this comes from this, then it's a, you are in a much better position. Okay, now let us uh, give you a minute. Okay. Let us now um, take one more question. 
as we gain more and more knowledge on this type of counting techniques, we are going to consider the questions again and again and see if we can make any progress. How many? Three letter words can be formed. How many three letter words can be formed with the letters of the word? Number or I should write it in all capitals to make it more prominent. Number if no letter can be repeated. Okay. So it's nothing new. We already know how to solve the problem. We only just want to use the notation NPR and the formula we have found out for it. So how many three letter words can be formed with the letters of the word number? Now, first of all, you see whether the letters in this word are distinct. N does not appear anywhere else. I mean, N appears only once. U once, M, B, E, R. They are all distinct. So how many letters? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Out of 6 letters, we have to form a 3 letter word and no repetition is allowed. So that means the answer is 6, P, 3. Okay? The answer is 6P3 and if we use the formula that we have found just now, it is 6 factorial divided by 6 minus 3 factorial, which is what? 6 factorial divided by 3 factorial. 6 factorial is what? 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 divided by 3 times 2 times 1. So this part cancels. So we are left with 120. So you see that although we have used the formula, in the end we work with this product which is actually 6p3. You see 3 factors 6, 5 and 4. Okay, so the result is 120. Now after this, we consider the case where the objects are not distinct. There also the question of repetition and non-repetition is there. Okay, so that I think I will uh, discuss in another part of the video. So let me end it here and I will see you soon in the next part. Okay, have a nice night.